Yo, it's your boy, Big Money Wang. Big Wang Show, back at you with another one. Today, man, we're going to talk about some facts, some, some black history facts. This is Black History Month. And you know, Black History Month 365 around here on the Big Wang Show. All right, man. You ever heard the phrase, starving like Marvin? You know what I mean? You ever wonder where that come from? Somebody starving like Marvin? Like, who the hell is Marvin? At Big Money Wayne Enterprise, we have found the legendary Marvin. Uh, his name is Marvin Jenkins. Back in 1971, check this out. Back in 1971, in Pine Tuck, Georgia, Marvin Jenkins, with a group of his partners, just kicking it. And um, they decided to smoke a little reefer. We were hanging out with the boy, they smoke a little reefer. For you young folks to know what, what reefer is, that uh, that's that live, but it's kind of like me. You know what I mean? So anyway, back to it. So they smoking reefer. This is uh, Marvin Jenkins' first time ever smoking with the boys. As you can see him in the picture right there with the arrow. That's Marvin Jenkins. Um, after he got through smoking, you know, a lot of the fellas like, hey man, let's go to McDonald's, get some food. So everybody go to the local McDonald's. Everybody order a number two. A number two at the time was a, a double cheeseburger, large fry, Coke. Um, Marvin didn't have no paper, as you can see in the video, in, in, in the picture. Marvin ain't got no money. Marvin asked his partner, hey, man, why don't y'all buy me something? They laughed and they climbed him, uh, 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 rolled on him, fired him up. You know, Marvin was starving. You know what I mean? They wouldn't even give Marvin a fry. Marvin was like, I'm starving, man. God, no, he's so hungry. Marvin got into a rage. Some people say it was like he turned into a tornado. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, matter of fact, man, one of my, hold on, what is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of my um, people out there in the streets, we done tracked down one of the victims. Lil E, Hubert. You know what I'm saying? Eric. But uh, he liked to be known in the hood as Lil E. Lil E was biked up in 1971. On this date, back there in 71. And this was Lil, and Lil E said he felt like he was going to die. All right, man, blow that clip of Lil E. What was going through your mind? I don't know. I'm going to die. Eric Hubbard was sitting in a friend's car eating lunch when Friday's tornado came barreling toward them. It was skinning and it got, it got big going up. Dog and it hit the ground and kept coming up. I finna get out the car run in. Hubbard thought about making a run for his house, but his friend talked him out of it. And I was scared. I finna eat a hamburger, it took it. And I don't even know where it's at. It took your hamburger out hamburger of your hand. And drink. I don't know where it's at. Man, now that was traumatic. Mr. Marvin Jenkins. No charges was filed on Mr. Jenkins, but Mr. Jenkins told the set up, knocked down trees, flipped over cars, uh, took all them dudes hamburger fries, and also went into McDonald's and tore it up. Uh, Mr. Jenkins, uh, they say Mr. Jenkins ate over mi two million dollars. Is that getting it right? He, well, I'm sorry, he he ate over twenty thousand dollars of food from McDonald's. And he also responsible for over $2 million in damages. But no charges have been filed on him. But that is how he got the name, Starving Like Marvin. The man went into a rage. So uh, that's how we get the word. That's how we get that, that hood lingo that is known from hood to hood, state from state, city to city, Starving Like Marvin. We got to put our hats and hat to... Mr. Marvin Jenkins, back in 1971, hanging with the boys and caught the munches. And he is the reason why we say starving like Marvin. For more stories like this right here, man, hit your boy up. Big Money Wayne, Big Money Wayne Show. And you know I got you, man. Stay tuned. If you ain't follow, follow. Share this thing. It's going up. B.I.G. Big Money Wayne Studio. And like I always say, stay blessed. Let go.